This video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball's app makes it easy to keep up to date with transfer news, scores and stats all in the one place. To download the OneFootball app, click the link in the description. The app is free. Welcome to Toffee TV, it's the Everton News Daily. We've got to wait until Monday before the match against Watford. And obviously, um, Marco Silva did his press conference yesterday. Um, but there's still things to talk about today. And Marco Silva's been talking. He's been talking to Sky Sports. He did a little interview with them. Ahead of that game on Monday Night Football. Uh, where he spoke about Andre Gomez. They asked, them, they asked them, basically, you know, the fans want to see Andre Gomez signed so what's going to happen and he said you know what I want him signed I want him signed two months ago he said I wanted him signed in the summer he said but the best we could do was get him on loan and he said but we want to make this happen he said he doesn't know it's going to happen because it's out of his hands and there isn't an agreement in place but he wants him to sign and um, we'll move forward like that so he wants him we want him so hopefully we'll get him uh, as long as Andre Gomes wants to sign, of course, but he seems quite happy at the club at the moment and hopefully he continues that good form he's been in recently. Um, Everton today have, have um, appointed Greta Steinson as the chief European scout. He has taken over from Martin Glover, who has moved to become the chief UK scout. Um, Greta Steinson has moved from Fleetwood, where he was the technical director for the last couple of years. He's only actually 36. Um, Ex Bolton, uh, ex Iceland international player. Um, he studied at the Cruyff Institute in Holland and had uh, some time at uh, a AK Alkmaar under Ma Marco Brand uh, Marcel Brands as well. So he he knows him well. He knows what he's gonna what he can do. He's gonna have seven European scouts underneath him who will go to uh, all over Europe and and try and pick up the best talent. So Marcel Brands once again putting his authority putting his stamp on the club and is, is uh, bringing in his own men or the people he feels are the best men. And someone, so I think what's interesting about this appointment, it's somebody who, you know, is not that, that far away from finishing his, his career. He's not been retired that long. So we'll know the absolute ins and outs of players and what it, what it takes to play at the highest level. So, um, and it's also not just someone who's just, you know, just a footballer who's just retired and becomes a scout. This guy has, has had an education as well. He's had an education after the game. He's just gone away and, and, you know, again, something something like with Marcel Brands, if you're going to bring these people in, make sure, they've number one, they've already done the job and number two, got some kind of ed education in doing the job. And that's really important. I think that's a you know, really important um, way football is going and that's what we're looking to do. If you're going to bring anyone in at a football club, you'd expect them to have qualifications at the job they are being appointed to do. And maybe in the past, we haven't done that. Maybe in the past, we've just given someone a job, made up a clever title for them and let them get on with them and it's ultimately failed. So he has come in and uh, has officially been appointed from today. Um, the under 22s, under 22s, under 23s have played today. They drew 2-2 with Spurs. They were 2-0 down away from home um, and a, a uh, uh, equalised with three minutes to go I think it was by Anthony Gordon 17 year old Anthony Gordon um, got us the equalising goal much talked about Anthony Gordon he's been linked with their moves to Germany and Everton have obviously said already that they don't want to sell him and, and will not be selling he got the equaliser with three minutes to go after uh, Sumbu scored just before half time so good point for David Unsworth's side away at Spurs and great to come back from 2 0 down. Um, as well as Anthony Gordon being 17 year old, Ella Sims, the under 18s wonder kid, played the last half an hour as well. He's been scoring goals left, right, and centre so far this season. Didn't get a goal in this one, but it's great that he's starting to get minutes for the under 23s, stepping up for them as well. Um, Finch Farm spoke about it last week about Everton was seeking planning permission for improvements. For the academy players, a new indoor pitch and facilities surrounding it. Everton have been given uh, planning permission by Nosy Council for that. Um, they will have it will have to be ratified, I think, at a government level. Um, but that is that has been given the permission. That will likely go ahead. It's all part of um, you know the ever expanding role of the academy and the things you need to keep your academy status. So Everton have been granted permission. They have got a pretty good indoor pitch, but it's not big enough for. 
the uh, what is requested for these academy players, and obviously things like um, having the same amount of kids playing inside on you know nights such as tonight. Um, that's a big thing about it as well, and making sure their families are comfortable as well, and giving them a nice space where they can bring their kids and you know a nice space for them as well to maybe sit with their other kids and do the homework and things like that. So that's being approved, and hopefully that will be done soon. Um, finally, Matty Pennington currently on loan at Ipswich has had the loan at Leeds. Um, he he has basically said it might be time to settle down somewhere. It might be time to get a move somewhere and you know put some roots down he said he doesn't know what's happened at Everton he's had a couple of phone calls but nothing nothing much else they just basically left him to it he's 24 now he's not going to make it at Everton let's be honest he's playing for Ipswich at the moment to a bottom of the of the championship and I, he's just he's not you look at the caliber of players Everton are buying and he's not going to make it at Everton so I think this will be an ideal time for him to uh to sign for someone permanently, whether it be in January or next summer. Uh, he did sign a new contract at the end of the season, but I think that was just more for us, so that if someone did come in for him, we could get decent money with his age, with him being 24 now. So, yeah, I think we'll see him going out to the club soon. He might be one that gets a permanent move in January as well as a couple of other players. So we'll wait and see on that. Anyway, that's it for today for the Everton News Daily. We'll be back. We'll be back on the Everton News Daily Tuesday. There won't be any Everton News Daily on Monday because we are playing. Um, big thank you to everyone who got us to 30,000 subscribers on YouTube. We finally got to 30,000. It's a massive milestone for us. And thank you to everybody who's subscribed to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, just thanks for watching. And please go and subscribe. And if you want, if you love us that much and you want more videos, go and check us out on Patreon. There's so many videos on there. It's unbelievable. Check them out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.